Well, hey there, greetings, friends. Welcome to another virtual coffee. Uh, I haven't seen you for about a month. A few things have changed. My face fuzz is, has been modified for the summer months. But hey, virtual coffee today brought to you by none other than delicious grapefruit juice on ice. <sighs> delicious, perfect for a summer, and wonderful. Today's um, virtual coffee is titled um, Emotional Reflexes, and it's inspired by uh, this right here. We've got uh, these right here. If you can see, these are hot sauces. Mm, these were from my mom. Thanks, mom. This was a great, uh, this was a great Christmas present for mom. Well, what had happened though is I was I was out reaching so hot sauce or hot dog. Um, I was out reaching uh, for some olive oil in uh, the the spice cabinet, and on the third shelf were these hot sauces, and I didn't know it, but they fell down. And as soon as they fell, I kind of caught them without even looking, and I didn't know if you know I'd been bit by a radioactive spider and had new senses. Uh, but that wasn't the case. I couldn't climb walls. I couldn't shoot webs. It was just the fact that uh, my body reacted really quickly, and it, it saved me from making a mess all over the counter and ruining my Christmas present. But my question today is, what are your social reflexes? And when I mean social reflexes, I mean, how do you respond when something um, adverse happens to you in public or with others, right? Say somebody gets your, uh, you know, gets your name wrong repeatedly, uh, you get your order wrong, somebody gets your order wrong at the restaurant, things like that, right? Somebody cuts in front of you in line at the grocery store. You know, what are our social reflexes? What is your first reaction when these things happen? Is it a, um, is it an automatic, I'm angry and I'm upset and this is the end of the world? Is it a, hey man, that's the way it goes? Um, or somewhere in between, you know, something where you, you feel a little bummed out, you feel a little angry, but at the same time, you don't, you know, you don't really, uh, you don't really react to it, uh, in a hostile fashion. And the question comes with a, this other question, what does it hurt to be nice? Somebody asked me that question the other day, and I thought that was a pretty good question. What does it hurt to be nice? It doesn't, it doesn't hurt at all. It doesn't cost anything to be nice, right? And at the end of the day, really, the things that happen to us, whether they be our order at the restaurant or somebody, who knows, cutting in front of the line of us at the grocery store, these things, did they do them on purpose? Did they do them to us directly? Was this a personal attack on us? That's a very excellent question. But I would say a majority of the time it's not. It's simply just people being people, people being oblivious to the world around them, people not aware that there are others there. So I want to encourage you this week uh, with your social reflexes um, to be nice, just to simply be nice, uh, whether it's somebody on the freeway being a, a complete idiot <laughs> or um, or getting a chicken sandwich instead of a instead of a hamburger. Now, don't get me wrong. I love me a hamburger. You send that bad boy back and grab your and, and grab your hamburger, not that chicken sandwich. But um, let's, just, let's just be nice to folks this week. All right. Well, y'all have a good one. Enjoy that hot sauce, and we'll talk soon. Bye.